I have a name, but it's not important. I live in a city. It doesn't matter which one. I'm a human being. Like you, I eat, sleep, and attempt to procreate. Like you, I ponder the meaning of life, love, time, and the universe. Like you, I get up each day for work. And like you, I look forward to the weekend. Fast forward weeks and months and years and decades, and I will get old and die, and my children and grandchildren will eat, sleep, and attempt to procreate. They will ponder the meaning of life, love, time, and the universe. Fashion and hairstyles and music will change, but the cycle of life will continue unabated. Or will it? For years, scientists have been debating the causes of the massive and abrupt ecological changes to the world's ecosystems. Right now, the Earth is experiencing only the sixth mass extinction of species in the history of life on Earth. The last such mass extinction occurred 65 million years ago, bringing to an end the age of the dinosaurs. The mass extinction that is occurring today will be no less dramatic in hindsight. This year alone, thousands of species will disappear forever. The biosphere is collapsing, threatening the existence of all the species on the planet, including humans. Like chimpanzees and gorillas, humans are members of the great ape family. All great apes eat, sleep, shit, and attempt to procreate. I don't know if chimpanzees ponder the meaning of life or love, but they certainly have personalities. Great apes are primates, along with lemurs, lorises, old world monkeys, and new world monkeys. Primates are mammals, along with things like pigs, cats, rodents, and giraffes. Mammals are vertebrates, along with birds, amphibians, reptiles, and fishes. Like you and me, all of this wonderful variety of life is struggling for survival in a world of limited resources. My species is doing pretty well. Actually, we're making a killing. My particular tribe is doing even better than most humans. We are the so-called Westerners, we're members of the first world, living in the land of opportunity. But the question is, for how long?